is Joe Rady from Rady's Rides, and I am back here at Subaru of Port Ritchie. My buddy Spencer just really just opens up the doors and lets me put together whatever I want to put together. And as you can see, I have two fun, amazing Subarus behind me. And I have that $31,000 question because both this 2018 Subaru BRZ Limited with the performance pack and this 2019 Subaru WRX Premium both come in at the same price, give or take a couple hundred bucks. The WRX is actually $200 more than this BRZ. And that really is the whole point of this one is that if you are a fan of Subaru, you don't necessarily have to go just the WRX route. Let me show you, I wanted to show you, the whole idea was this, let me show you what does that money get you in the land of Subaru if you have around $31,000 you want to spend. Let's go ahead and we're gonna start off with the BRZ. It's a 2018. As many of you are aware, the BRZ was a joint venture with Toyota. Toyota has the 86, Subaru the BRZ. What I do love about the BRZ is the styling. I think it really has that sports car look and feel. I like the front end of the car. For 2018, they was a continuation full LED headlights. So in the, at this price point, you're gonna get full LED headlights. I do like the lower fog light as well. And I just really love the whole front fascia. I actually like the BRZ a little bit better than the 86. I'm starting to see a little bit more 86s here and there and they're starting to grow on me. But as soon as I saw the first picture of a BRZ, I was just like, wow, that is a beautiful car, especially finished in this crystal, crystal white. Crystal white pearl, very beautiful color. Let's go ahead and check out the front of this 2019 WRX finished in dark gray metallic. Now for 2018, they went with a redesign. You can see with the premium, you're not getting full LED headlights. You got a little bit extra chrome back there in the housing because of the reflectors needed. With the WRX, you do get the lower fog lights. You don't get that with an STI. And I know a lot of the WRX and STI fans out there were a little disappointed, but they are here on the WRX. I do like how aggressive they went and they've continued it with the 2019. I like the piano black. I like the uh, larger opening down here for the radiator with in, it's you know a nice um, flat black um, material. I do like the way they went with in that direction. Also, you can't beat the WRX because of this hood scoop. How aggressive of a, of a front end of a car, so iconic. The whole purpose of this hood scoop, it is functional, the intercooler is in there. And what's interesting is that both of these cars at the end of the day feature a two liter flat four engine. The big difference is, is a turbocharger. You're gonna have a turbocharged 268 horsepower in this WRX and 205 horsepower in this naturally aspirated Subaru BRZ. Speaking of the BRZ, let's go check out the side because there's gonna be some surprises there you're gonna like. All right guys, we're on the side of this BRZ. Ever since the BRZ hit the streets, I really felt like the lines were just classic proportioned lines for a sports car. And I think 10 years from now, the BRZ is still gonna look as sexy as it does now. And that's what really draws me to the car is that overall balance of the proportions of it. Let's start here with the front fender. So you can see that this one has the performance pack. That's gonna give you the 10 spoke wheel. It's still a 17 inch wheel, but it's a 10 spoke wheel. I love like almost the gunmetal chrome finish on it. Very nice touch. You can see those bright red Brembo calipers. That is gonna be also part of the performance package. And one thing that you cannot see, well maybe Tom with his magical skills could show you, this comes with sock suspension all the way around. That is a better suspension that, than what comes on the standard BRZ that's gonna allow this car to handle like nobody's business. And that's really the purpose of this car. It's not gonna help win any drag races, guys. It's not gonna be any Camaros or Mustangs, but that's okay because on a twisty road, you're gonna leave those cars behind you. I promise you that. This car weighs in at 2,800 pounds. That is feather light. Let's continue down the side of this BRZ. I really, really like the uh, flowing lines from the fender all the way up onto the roof. The roof really has a nice look to it because it's got some body creases into it. Now they did this on purpose. If they would have kept the roof totally flat, 
it would be hard to wear a helmet with this car when you're autocrossing it or taking it to your local track. But with these lines, you're able to get a little bit of extra headroom in there so you could be comfortable with your helmet on. And that's important when you're doing a track day or going down your tri twisty road. You want to be comfortable. And this car is comfortable. I like the rear quarter panel. I love the, the way the quarter glass comes into this rear fender quarter panel area. Very nicely done. And then to wrap it off out back, they went with an updated wing for 2017, carried into 2018. This wing is actually aluminum. It's not fiberglass. It's not any kind of urethane. Very nice finish. And I do like, I'm going to have Tom scroll down the side here. I like the way each BRZ has end plates that match the color of the car. Very nicely done. And I really think that the rear end on a BRZ has such a unique and distinct look and a very attractive look. They went with full LED taillights. And then you have, I like the way some manufacturers are putting down the reverse lights all the way down here uh, with the low diffuser to clean up the rear of the car. And you get great dual exhaust, one on each side. Really just screams performance in this car. 205 horsepower may not sound like a lot of performance, but I promise you, like I said, twisty road, it's gonna be a ton of fun. Let's go check out that all-wheel drive WRX. All right, guys, here we are with the 2019 Subaru WRX. This one is finished in that beautiful dark gray metallic D DGM. If you see those initials, that's the color you're getting. It's kind of overcast right now. If the sun was out, this color really pops. I do like the side fenders. I like what they did for 2018 styled 18 inch wheel. So you get an 18 inch wheel, it's one inch larger than the BRZ. You can see the standard brake caliper there with its pads. Still does the business. Is it a Brembo? No, but it is a very good quality and they do have some great stopping power. This car is weighing in at around 3,270 pounds. So you can see a little bit of a difference because remember, underneath the skin of this car is that all wheel drive, that symmetrical all wheel drive that Subaru is famous for. Underneath that hood, you'll be able to see it in a second. 268 horsepower, uh, FA, two liter engine, direct injected technology with that turbo to give you that power and some better fuel economy and just overall better drivability. With the side of the WRX, one thing I've always liked is the flared fender. I like the way that they really show the line really well with this nice crease. And then as Tom wraps it around, you could see just how much the front fender is sticking out as he wraps around the side of the car and really flows into from the fender down onto this lower uh, side still. So that's a look that you're going to get with a WRX. Gives it an aggressive look and it's also for aerodynamic purposes. So it's not just about show. You are getting go out of the body work on it. My biggest complaint with the WRX and the STI is I wish that this roof line was just a little bit lower. I think probably for me, the sexiest Subaru ever is gonna be that 22B, that WRX STI 22B. That, to me, is just the epitome of Subaru sexiness. This is a little bit larger, and I think some people get hung up on that. I know there's a lot of people comparing this car to like a, a Corolla or a Camry or whatever, but it still is a fun car. It screams power. It's got that all-wheel drive. I like the way out back. It's got a nice kick up rear spoiler, nothing aggressive, nothing too crazy. And then to wrap it off, I really like the lower diffuser and the dual exhaust. You could see how there's gonna be that styling difference between this and the BRZ, but they're both coming in at the same price point. This one has the additional STI carbon fiber um, badging across the back here on the trunk that is a dealer installed option. Very nice touch. And like I said, that all-wheel drive superiority. If you're in any type of env environment, whether it's super rainy, snowy, lots of dirt, this one is going to be your choice. But if you're looking for something maybe a little bit sportier, you got the BRZ to choose. Let's go ahead and pop the hoods on both of these. All right, guys, here's underneath the hood of this BRZ. Nothing major, 205 horsepower, that two liter flat four engine. Look at how low it sits in the frame. That's gonna help with that handling. Remember, a flat four engine, it's a boxer engine because the 
pistons are going back and forth like punching gloves. Very low. You can see it. Another thing I like about the BRZ underneath the hood, there's not a ton of plastic covering everything up. You got this very sexy uh, intake plenum. I like the red. That was something that they added for 2017. Usually that red is associated with STI, but I do like seeing it on the under the hood of the BRZ and it just really pops well with the white bodywork. I think you would agree. You can see the actual structural braces that they put at the front of the car because like I said, this is not a drag racer. This car is all about handling. If you wanna get more performance out of it, you can. You could add superchargers. You could add turbochargers. They have those kits available. But if you want something naturally aspirated that's gonna be a, a, a nice car to drive every single day and then hit those twisty roads, hit that road course, then this is a great, great car for you. Let's go ahead and check out this WRX. So here's the 2019 Subaru WRX. This is that FA motor. So that's a two liter direct injected turbocharger. You can see the intercooler mounted on top and that's gonna help you produce that 268 horsepower. At the end of the day, if you're looking at performance numbers, you're looking at zero to 60 in 6.2 seconds for the BRZ, zero to 60 on this WRX in 5.5 seconds. Top speed on the WRX is 144 miles an hour, and on the BRZ, it's 135 miles an hour. So you can see the difference in the performance that you're gonna get. I really think, you know, it's a matter of taste, and it's a matter of style, and it's a matter of what you really want at the end of the day. Both very good engines, both Subarus. Speaking of Subarus, let's go ahead and fire them up and hear what these engines sound like. guys we're inside the brz i'm gonna be honest i think the brz is gonna take it for interior quality and extra style check out the door panels i really like the direction that they went in on the door panels with the leather up top in the center on the armrest and even around the speaker very nice quality i like the red contrast stitching really gives an extra style but it also gives extra quality Look at these seats. These seats are a dream. They're not Brembo, uh, they're not Recaro's. They're definitely not Brembo's because they make brakes, but these seats are very sporty. They got the perfect amount of bolstering, both at the bottom and on the, on the back. Not too high, not too low. I love the Alcantara material on the center of the seat, and they really are very supportive. Remember, I'm six feet tall, 200 pounds, very supportive. I love the whole dash and center console area. One place that you could tell that they went a little lower price on certain things is right here. This is a little bit harder plastic, but they do have the nice leather for your knees on both the passenger and the driver's side. I like the infotainment system. Subaru is not known for their best infotainment system, but it is getting better, I promise. Very simple uh, AC controls, but they make sense and they work. There's that beautiful engine start stop button. You would think every car in the 21st century would have this. Wait until we get to the WRX, you might be surprised. Here's where I feel like they, they, they missed it big time. This, this whole thing right here. I wish they would have taken this beautiful leather. I mean, look, it's almost the same shape. Take this off of here and stick it right here. You'd have a beautiful armrest and you'd have a nice lid for the center console instead of this cup holder thing that I guess you could, you know, hey, throw it to the people in the back seat, they can hold their drinks back there. Other than that, you get heated seats and you get, this is, the, this is right here, the, the, the whole piece of the puzzle. This is that beautiful six-speed manual transmission, very short throws, very, very short throws. I like the leather boot, I like the leather shift knob. It's a perfect size for just going right through the gears. Also, another touch, almost similar to the Mustang, are these little flipping switches here. I really, really like that. Gives it almost like a jet fighter cockpit kind of look with the switches, and they have a nice feel. They don't feel uh, like super cheap or anything like that, so that's nicely done. And then I'm gonna have Tom come around and show you this piece of wonder, this beautiful steering wheel. This is actually a really, really nice surprise. Come on over and I'll show you. All right, guys, here's that magical place behind the wheel of a BRZ. I love the size of the steering wheel. One thing I like is simple. 
Very, very simple, very minimal buttons. Everything is kind of closer to the horn. Not a lot of other nonsense going on. This is gonna allow you to just go through those turns with the greatest of ease. I love the seating position. I really think this is where the BRZ wins. I, I love the interior. Why couldn't this car just have a little bit more power? i go out and buy one right now. But I do love the layout. I like, I'm gonna have Tom go back into that dash. I love that center um, tachometer right there. As you can see, red lines are right around 7,500 RPM. What's also cool is that you have this other uh, LED gauge here that you could go and go through different features and whatnot. And the speedometer is very small over to the left. Everything else is laid out very nicely. I like the leather hood that they put over the gauges. Just a wonderful place to be. If you look down here, just like on a lot of other Subaru uh, performance products, you get these wonderful aluminum pedals, heel toe downshifting, I mean watch, heel toe, boom, 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 all day long. Another thing which I wish more companies would do is put an aluminum dev pedal. It helps cut down on the wear of the carpet or the plastic and it just matches so well. But Subaru really hits the nail on the head with their shifter, with their seating position, and with those pedals. One place I guess if you're gonna zonk this BRZ, and I'm sure many of you would agree, is how about a little bit more power? Speaking of power, let's go get in the WRX. All right, guys, we're inside the WRX, the premium. Let's go ahead and start off on the door panels. You can see how with the premium, you're only gonna get some leather on that armrest. You have a cloth material on the back part of the door panel there. Lots of hard plastic from top to bottom on the door panel. As you swing in, you'll see with the premium, these are just cloth seats. So they're comfortable, not really supportive, especially on the bottom. Sides are pretty decent, but bottom, I need a little bit more bolstering, especially if you're gonna be tracking this car or doing autocross or even doing your twisty road. P seating position, it's a comfortable place to be. You have great visibility. That's probably where this car is gonna win over the BRZ. BRZ's got decent visibility. This has got better visibility. This really has like a rally car feel to it. You got the faux carbon fiber, and you have this really cool informational screen up top that's gonna allow you to toggle through different features with a nice leather hood as it flows down into this waterfall infotainment. There's our Starlink system again, and very, very simplistic on the AC controls. No dual climate like in the BRZ. You have this wonderful cubby area for a phone, even a couple phones, but the problem is, is that you just have a 12 volt. You do not have any USB here. If you want USB, you gotta go all the way back to here, and that's where you're gonna find two USB parts, ports. Here's another area where I, I wish they would have just came out with a cover. This area kind of just bothers me. I wish there was some sliding cover like on the STI. Six speed transmission, not as short as throws as the BRZ. Yes, you could get the short throw kit, but this one does not have as short of throws as that BRZ. It's still a great gearbox. Is it as great as an STI? No. Center console, just a, a hard rubbery material. Another thing I've never figured out on these WRXs and STIs is how low the armrest is. That's something that just bothers me with that whole thing. But other than that, still very nice. This is what you're getting. Like we said, at that $31,000 price point, if you wanna see one extra surprise that you're getting with the premium up top, you get a sunroof. That's something on the BRZ you're only gonna be wishing about. How about come around the side and I'll show you the business side behind this steering wheel. All right, guys, here we are behind the wheel of the WRX 2019. I do like the shape of the steering wheel. Nice uh, 10 and two grips, very good material. It's a little bit different. If you compare this to an STI, STI I think has a little bit nicer grade on the leather. Not a lot of buttons, um, a little bit more than the BRZ, but still not many. One place that I really love on these um, WRXs are the gauges, but like I said, look, can you believe it? 21st century and we still have a key. You would think everything would be push button by now, but I guess that's where they gotta cut cor corners. But you, I love the back lighting on the gauges. I love, if Tom could show you up there, the LED on that screen underneath the hood. Very nice touches that you're not gonna have on the BRZ. I think definitely the gauge cluster, much nicer, even compared to my RS, my Ford Focus RS, I love the gauges on this WRX and even more so on an STI. Pedal-wise, clutch is a breeze, very, very light. 
you got that great heel. I mean, look at this. It's like, it's like these pedals were just made for heel toe downshifting. I'm, I'm wearing these terrible Nikes, which are not the great, dri greatest driving shoes, but still very easy to heel toe downshift. Piece of cake. If you're ready, I'm ready to wrap this one up. All right, guys. So it's been one hell of a day here at Subaru of Port Richie. Got to give a huge shout out to Spencer and everybody else here. They really love seeing Rady's rides here, and I love being here and being able to feature these cars. And like I said, for $31,000, what is that going to buy you in the realm of the Subaru world of performance? This is it. These are the two options that you have. WRX is just $200 more. Do you want that rear wheel drive? Do you want that car that's going to be lighter on its feet, more fun through the twisties? Or do you want to go that rally car-esque, all-wheel drive, turbocharged motor? The great thing is, I really think you can't go wrong with either of these, but remember, it really comes down to you getting your butt behind the wheels of these cars and taking them for a drive yourself. If these are the types of things you like to see on Rady's Rides, these types of comparisons, leave a comment in the comment section. If you have not hit subscribe yet, what are you waiting for? Hit subscribe, I promise you, every single day there's a great review worthwhile for coming back. We got a little bit of something for everybody. If you have been a subscriber, thank you guys and girls. Thank you for your support. I'm so grateful for every day. Just the, we keep growing as a family, as a community here on Rady's Rides. And it's so wonderful to see the comments, people helping one another. If you have not been to my Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter pages, you definitely want to check all those out because that's Rady's Rides original content all the time. I don't copy and paste other people's stuff. If you are w waiting for your Rady's Ride shirt, make it happen. How do you do it? You're on YouTube, right? Go back to my homepage on YouTube, click about, lower left hand corner it says Rady's Rides Merch Shop. We got shirts, bandanas, hats, bags, the whole nine yards. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you so much for promoting the channel. I love it when you guys tell me how you wear your Rady's Rides gear and people say, hey, I watch that channel too. How amazing is that? But what's even more amazing is the man behind that camera. Tom Moshner, Big Guns McGee, the man, the myth, the legend. Women love him, men want to be him. Thank you for your help, Tom. There's nothing like working as a great team and I think you guys see it. You see the cohesiveness, the bond that Tom and I have and it really just becomes magical here on Rady's Rides. Definitely want to give him a shout out, leave him some love for his big huge uh, powerlifting competition coming up in December. And just like always guys, I'll see you on the next ride.